26th Health Teaching Workshop of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. And once again, we're here live with Mr. Keshe at the Spaceship Institute, and I think he's ready to go with um, this afternoon's teaching. Um, let's see. Go ahead, Mr. Keshe. See if we can hear you there. Yes. Good afternoon. Good day to you, as usual, whenever, whenever you listen to the teachings. We are very much, even though in the health section, if you're in a public part of the teaching, um, in a way, if you go back to what we started with the uh, um, Blueprint Week, we still keep an update with it that those who want to or after or are looking for in the private part of the teaching today, we showed the first units which are been sent and dispatched out to people. This is the first car power unit and Marco is assembling the first power unit. Can I pinch this for a minute? It is connected. You can show it from distance if you want. Yeah. Show it. The, oh, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't show it. I'll do it. Um, no, no, it's okay. Let it be there. Uh, Marco is setting up the power unit for test. And once we set up, we will go through the whole process of. Uh, this is, you can see it better, easier there. This is a car unit with two power cables for the battery. The, can we have an energy unit one, please? He's busy with that one. We still need another one up here. Yeah, please. So the, you should be receiving or you should have received your units by now or it's on the way to you. There were some problem with the customs, which we have to even today to clarify some papers that the, some units was kept or is kept till some paper uh, documents is completed. Some were released yesterday by the customs and some will be released hopefully today. It's just that the wording in the invoice wasn't to the Italian standard, so Italian customs wanted different wording on the invoice and it's been completed and some 50 units were released yesterday by the customs because of the wording. And in a way, as you see, this is a Magrav car power unit, and there is a Magrav power unit. They come in a standard box we opened to in the private teaching this morning. But the two power units will go on the table teaching here today. Marco is setting it up for testing for the current flow. And as usual, then he will put a camera on the digital reading. You're taking the readings on the meters, both of them? Yeah. You, you have virgin meters downstairs, huh? If you want to set up for the other one. You have one more unit downstairs, a virgin unit. You can put up. And then we put it on the live camera or we take a reading today and then on Thursday we give you another reading and the rest of it. So your power units, your car units, it's all in this way or so you might have received some. And in a way, we put the test through and see what happens. What is important that these power units are not just for energy. In the coming time, we show you how to use these power units in conjunction with other units, which is coming the health units, to be used for what we call processing. What you got to do? Oh, you got one. Are you sure it's a power unit or a car unit? Yeah. We have received today a batch of seven car, uh, power units and uh, three car units, which we're just opening it as you see it. You receive it with a leaflet, with the documentation, and a disclaimer by the factory and with all the CE certification and the rest which has been issued to it. The unit, as you see, this is a power unit with this wire and with this box. 
they are held the Italian way with the three elastics. And the smallest, what you're gonna get, plus the, the what do you call it? The phase measurement system to show the phase of it. And I wanna do the cutting for you, Marco. The standard cable for the energy, which is put intact with input and you have to follow the marking on the face which is on it. The reason for this is important is that when you uh, produce energy from these systems, you can in the coming time use the output of the system for one purpose, which is the health application. In producing enough energy for processes of health, which you might have, be it cancer, be it uh, diabetic, be it uh, emotional illnesses or psychosomatic, in time will be added and our people in research and development, which are set up, uh, they will assess everything before launch or whatever they might do before it goes to production. In so many ways, this way now, you at least have an opportunity to be able to look after your health in a space. These units in essential will become part of the standard mandatory part of any space flight in the future because they carry all the plasmas needed for the systems which are physically manufactured or determined for a space travel by those who prefer that kind of motion. In essence, what you do, your body has a directional field flow. You've seen the process where, for example, you have the skin and you place the pen, what we call a paint pen on it, and you allowed the transfer of so many ways, energy through and within a system where the field flow is like, very much like this. This field flow from the system, this be it your magnetical gravitational field, when it comes into the body and into, in, interfaces or comes across a section where the energy is different in respect to its environment, then it interacts with this entity, with this, what you call change of field district. And because it works in trying to receive and give to bring balance between all the sections of your body, then this is what happens. In a way, the fields from your pen or from the system which you have, your energy units, will create a balance, trying to find a balance between this environment and here. And in going through this process, in finding the balance, then it receives or it gives energy to or from the system. In so many ways, if he needs it, it gives it, and if he needs it, it takes it back. And what this happens, when he finds a balance in energy, this is where you find out in so many ways what you call no pain condition. So over time, when this balance is achieved, this is what you're gonna get. The totality, in a way, without the pain. And in fact, what it happens is that the pain 
becomes part of even being there, not existing in so many ways. So this is what your process of your pens and the energy units will do. In the coming time, we change these pens with units, which reflects in a way, as you see, your unit, which you see nowadays, and all you do from it, you feed in the same position. Then your second unit, in a specific way, will be shown for all kinds of diseases. So you'll find out slowly the next couple of units. This is what you do. You have a cancer cell which sits within the center of the structure. What you do is you interact the same way with the cancer cell. That's all they're going to do. And then the same process goes on in finding balance with the cancer cell, with this environment. And then in a more structural way, you can bring, you bring systems in, which this can cover literally, if it's the other side of this system, which brings, you can put, you can put the the body of the man, which gets covered more or less by the same kind of energy and it brings balance to totality. So you don't need to do one section, you cover the whole body of a man with the fields from your units in a very direct way, which means you cover everything which the system can give and these kind of systems, we are not looking for a physical change. We are looking with the more powerful system of this in medical processing and health processing is to interact both in a way to give and take in the same way as physical as well as emotional. So, the new systems which come into operation is what we call psychosomatic units. Because majority of the illnesses of man comes through psychological and this system the same way will find peace or balance in understanding of the emotion, which changes the whole structure of the health application of today. Today, when you get sick, you go to a doctor, they give you a tablet to fight the headache, to fight the pain, but they do not handle the cause of the pain. You go back with the same kind of illnesses, fibromyalgia, uh, Alzheimer's, and everything else. The new structure of the health is totally different. You deal with the essence of the cause, and because emotion is a gravitational magnetic field, now you enter a zone where not only the cause is sorted, but the effect, which is physical manifestation, will be sorted too. This is essential if health is going to move from tablets and injections and God knows side effects and everything else aside, because you push in, you inject, you take medicine, which is only targeted for a physical change, but you do not sort out the emotion. And the emotional part creates a disbalance which what we call more or less is part of the side effects because it's not acceptable, but you force the change. If you read, wow, that's a big boy you brought. Um, this uh, process is essential because what the medicine will change in the next six months, once we put out the medical units in a health application as a plasma transfer, you will understand how much more effective the process of 
reversal of diseases will be coming. In a coming time, we started it in the past few weeks with the pens. Now we've seen the pants, which has been out for now or nearly over a year in the next couple of months. And then we go to the process of the production of what we call psychosomatic power units, which can deal not only with the physical change, but the emotional balance. It'll be very interesting to see how fast people will react to diseases which are psychosomatic. Is there a problem? Resistive. So far, it's non-resistive. Maybe we don't know. I didn't see. You will enlighten us. Make sure it's on the floor because then we cannot see. It's very bright. Put it under the table. I know this light. Maybe we need it here because it looks bright and it's too dark here for the teaching. Might be good resolution. So, what is the next step with this process? Mm -hmm. Is now developing new systems for health, new system for health in the space. I keep on emphasizing our health processing is for a space technology in the spaceship program, and what comes out like a pen, pen pads, and the rest are the fallout of the new spaceship industry. We see it. Number of people have started manufacturing. Number of people are uh, putting these goods into the market. Different versions of it, different understanding of it. And this is where the next step will come. In a way, as I explained before, now we have more units. We can show how they fit. The next unit will fit into this like this. So. You have your first unit, now the circle starts developing. We have the power unit, we have the, most probably the generator in the coming time. Then we add the next member here, the next member here, medical, food, and then material, and then we have the, what we call emotional units. Then you see the circle completes totally. Um, then, we'll see the interaction of even the fields between the six, what they will produce for development of new technologies. Health application, if is not physical damage, in a way accidental, where, for example, you get hit, amputation, or whatever, more or less through this technology can be handled in all directions. At least attempts can be made for to understand new structures, new developments and new understanding without interaction of any physical material, like injections and tablets and whatever else it could be. As I explained, now that we understand the process of regrowth, then we have to look into this process that if the regrowth can be or is part of the psychological aspects of the development. If you have a heart defect at birth, if you have all sorts of physical defects at birth, can we find out that what we call now genetic deformation or whatever can be corrected with these new systems. Genetic engineering now with the systems starts looking and will look into a totally different dimension. Can we add through plasmatic gravitational magnetic field into the genes where it's damaged that we create a structure that fits into the damaged part and as this gravitational magnetic field naturally takes its place and replaces or adjusts the genetic deformation. There is a huge opening. Now that you're going to what we call direct commercialization, 
the next step today is the health teaching. This technology will affect, will change all the health aspects as we know. Would it be the next step? When I put the questions to you, would it be? It means for you to develop. It's for you to extend the knowledge. Cash Foundation is all the people who listen to it and follow it. It's not me anymore or a few people who run the administration or operation in the background. Now the Cash Foundation in a structure working more, more or less runs into hundreds. And in the coming months, it'll run into tens of thousands. We see it, we are setting it up. And in that process, we have to open the whole knowledge, not in one section at a given time. So what's going to happen to the health application? How far can we extend the knowledge of man now that we have found a more direct, effective, and parallel to life? Would we use it? Or can we develop new technologies that can overcome most of what we could not I have not managed to change in the health aspects applications for thousands of years. One of the things which we look into very early on in that once we start feeding the health units out is for example people who are born blind how can we create a direction, a plasmatic magnetic field that through the plasma, which is the same as the information carried from the, let's say the eye into the brain, if there is a misconnection, we can create the plasmatic system that sees to it. It's an exact information transfer that blindness does not exist. We done some research on this and it's correct. It will, it will be one of the most effective ways to overcome blindness because you replace the whole information in a context of the brain itself and the neurosystem, which is mainly based on the CO2 and some calcium, you can create the right magnetic field that the information from the eye was absorbed and is correct, can be transferred to the right place in the brain. We've done this two, three times. Blindness, is not and shall not be what we see at this moment of time if there are those who want to extend the knowledge that way. It is the most effective way of transfer of information through plasmatic condition. The other possibilities is the same. Possible, very possible. The only process at the moment which we do not see a solution and in the future, there is a possibility, could be, is when the spinal cord at certain points are crushed. Where in fact, what happened, if this is your spinal cord with strands going down, the strands all become one. And this becoming one, like getting squished or cut, is a position and at this moment of time, we don't see a solution. Or do we find a way that at a point of where it's crushed or squeezed together, we can bypass through a plasmatic condition and carry on with the information. At this moment of time, this is the, I've done a lot of research on this. This is the blind spot in this knowledge. The biggest problem is when you look at the end of the spinal cord, what you have is this mesh, which is the biggest problem. If you look at the end of the spinal cord, you have this. All the nerve system, if you look at it, they are like this. And when it's cut in, in a point, can we find, for example, the matching one of this one with this one that feeds to your leg? Because when it's squashed, it's all get muddled up. Don't forget your spinal cord is like a toothpaste. When you squeeze it out, it doesn't matter where it's come from, the 
structure, it gets squeezed through the same thing. This is the only point at this moment which we cannot address. More or less anything else can be addressed. We can find a solution for in processing. You can create a condition, gravitational magnetic field condition, the strength of the heart valve to allow the heart to repair, the heart valve to repair, that you don't need open heart surgeries. You can create the conditions where you have blockage in the veins of the heart. You can create a very soft condition that they can open up. You can rejuvenate them. It's been done. It's not a theory. We've done it in two or three cases. You can do the same thing with the long channels. Because now you create, now we understand that every organ of the body of the man, every single cell in the body of the man operates in a Gans state, not in a matter state. And a Gans state is a plasmatic condition. And now that we create a plasma in these systems, it depends if at this point we decide to create a, a strength with a strength of the heart valve and then allow it to reproduce itself. Then you produce, you replace open heart surgeries, open lung surgeries, open stomach surgeries in a very short time become history because we didn't need to do it. We, there is no need for interfering with the internal when you can create the whole condition in a different way. The health development of this technology is so immense that for those who stay on Earth, they have a totally new solutions. We see it, it's been tested over 15 years. It's not something which is new. It's not something that we're going to test. It's just translating the solid state uh, plasma condition reactors into the dynamic plasma condition reactors as you see them here. This is the future of the health, and it needs hundreds of thousands of people to bring it into totality. It's not a work of one man or one group. We started, and in the coming time, more and more scientists educated in plasma, understanding the work of physicality of the man in a grand state, will bring these new technologies on. We are doing enormous amount of testing in the background with different people, with different places, we have set up. You can put your testimonials, whatever. These things in time has to be systematically organized and be brought up. There is no possibility, as I don't see it, there is no possibility, no chance in a coming time that anyone will live without arm or leg or a finger or a toe. There is a possibility that we can even regenerate or restart the process of the recycling of the brain to reprocess the production of the missing arm and leg, not the fresh one. As I said, by the end of December, we will produce a number of units distributed across all the doctors in Europe and across the world who would like to use these new simple systems for reproduction of organs and arms and toes and everything else. It's just that going through the production, going through the manufacturing was not a priority for us. Now that we have got involved in production, we go for a full extent of the knowledge to be at the reach of every man on the street. Can man abuse these systems? No, because you cannot target plasma if the plasma is not there to accept it. Abuse of plasma systems for what they call psychological targeting is more or less zero because it works on what you need and not what you force it to accept. You can change the environment, but they still take the totality balance of the environment. In the coming weeks, we show you maybe early in December, 
the total brain structure of a, what we call beautiful people. We've seen it, so we can show it. You can for the first time see possible plasmatic condition of a structure of what we call beautiful people and what you call a schizophrenic. No. It will show it to you. You will see it. It's very interesting. It's very, very interesting how you can, through the new systems using CO2, more or less start structuring brain behavior because you interact with the plasma. You see the existence of, or we have a started in that bracket, the existence of the second working entity within the structure of the brain. These are advanced health technologies which we are looking at, and there is some work done with it. These are just scratching the surface. In the second part of the, the second week of the December, we might show you one of these pictures. Because it's for the first time we have the capability to understand the work of the brain as it is. Is it? Would it be? Do we show all the signs of our health through our physical condition? As we've seen, the Chinese health will show you different toes, different position for the toes, and now Western health tries to follow. Each spot on your body has more or less to do with your kidney, with your liver, whatever, whatever, whatever. Do we interact directly with a system like this at a point of pain? where we give and take, and the information carries at the point of bladder, kidney, whatever, that we don't need. Do we go to the position of taking and giving? Can we replace dialysis machines with this technology? The answer is 100% yes. It's just a matter of weeks or months before the major breakthrough in the health through these systems come. Now we have a very talented, a strong research team, especially connected with the health, and the research, what we call the innovation team, will bring you these things in the coming time. This is the beauty of vertical operation. Vertical operation, you decide, is part of your structure, it will come the first meeting, and the other meetings of the, uh, what they call the Research will come into these points. Health has a priority now that we have accomplished our target on energy. Even in the research section, which we're trying to develop, we have people who are specializing in the health, in power, in different sections. We've got to bring them together. And health is one of the major points, and it'll be one of the major parts of the operation of the Cash Foundation through the tools does not mean we're going to succeed 100% in every case we touch, but gradually we'll perfect the art. It's taken man thousands of years to be where it is now in respect to health. And this technology has just taken off the ground. And we see how far we can go and how much easier we can make it for the people who decide to stay behind on this planet and enjoy the physicality of it. Doesn't matter how much is left of it. In the space technology, in space, we will never consider this. This is non-existence. It's a waste of time. But those of mankind who decides to stay behind, this is the option. Illnesses, diseases, at least 90%, 95% of what we see on this planet in a space will not exist. Then the choice is very simple. Would you like to stay on this planet and suffer physically from the illnesses or take into space and live a free life without illness, more or less? 
as I said, we teach both. We speak the language of a child for a child to understand, and we see the other science in the level of the understanding. In the private teaching section of the Keshe Foundation, we only teach now in a plasmatic condition, in respect of any physicality. So all these machines, all these systems has to do with your physical part. In fact, it does not come into operation of the spaceship program, but we cover both sides. As I was saying today in the teaching, we teach from the man who can walk, who doesn't know about donkeys, to the man who knows where donkeys, and all the way to the spaceship. You want to be in the car, you want to be in a hybrid car, you want to be in a jumbo jet, or you want to travel with other physicality. We teach you the whole lot, how to feed your donkey and how to feed your soul. Depends on you where you want to sit. And in a spaceship program, at this moment, where we sit, we only teach this because this can all be controlled through the operation of the emotional section of the brain of the man to show his physicality. So, what it comes to, how do we and where do we extend the knowledge in the condition using the physical materials? It's very difficult for me to teach it, and it becomes more and more difficult for the teachers of the Keshe Foundation, Space Human Institute, to teach people about this when they already work on this level. It's absolute mayhem, but we have to do it sits here at this moment maybe a few hundred people which can follow and sits there 7.2 billion where do we go we have to teach in time if anyone wants to catch up as we say if you don't want to be a tomato you better catch up so that's where it sits in reality, if you go into the space plasma technology, understand the work of the emotion, you understand that all, everything to do with you is controlled through your emotion, even your physical life. So why do you need all these tools? But this is the way your physical, physicality is important to you. We have to teach you everything. Till the man matures enough to understand the totality of the operation of the physicality on the control of the emotion. The problem in the coming time, it will be so hard for the people who work on the top end of the knowledge of the science of the plasma to teach as many people as fast as possible to for to literally lift and shift all this lot in one package into here, because then we realize we don't need that device. We can do it into mass teaching, we can do it in a, a what do you call it, SSI teaching. But hopefully, if we can come to an agreement, we should go into satellite teaching and a world communication system teaching, we'll shorten this one by a few years, by teaching a lot more. But don't forget, we can't reach the man who's in the jungle of Amazons, Amazons who doesn't know what the television is, and we cannot teach it somebody who sits in the back end of Africa or in India, and he has no knowledge of it. So our target will reach, in this process, maybe a few million. And that few million are the passengers of the space in the new dimension, to gravitational magnetic position. So everything, if you look in the structure, is very simple. Everything goes back how you position your gravitational magnetic field of a plasma in respect to your own entity. And then you adjust it. You want to take more or you want to give more? Is it needing? So if it's needing, you feed it. Does it Give has got too much, you take it back. And then when you find this balance, it goes in that system. I was teaching this morning in the health section, those of you who are making coils or pens or whatever, as I've said before, be very careful 
how you make your coils. Do you need to allow your coils to have a bend in, or do you need your coils to have what I call feeding out? Are you taking or are you giving from whatever you're touching? And do you need to come up with what we do now with a double core system, even for your health system, even for your health pens? In the future, the health pens will be very much as we see it with the energy system. Do we need to create a second core on top of another core. So, in fact, you make it possible for the whatever you're dealing with to give, if it needs to give, take, if it needs to take, one in a physical condition, one in emotional condition. The pens you are using touches the surface. It only matters and deals with a matter state condition. To have a matter state, you have to separate the gravitational magnetic field of your matter state illness with the emotion of the illness in respect to the same position. In the coming time, when you start making new health pens, especially for diseases like fibromyalgia, this is like MS, this is like ILS, you have to make one pen center and then one coil, which is connected to the second coil, one being a gravitational and one magnetical, and then on top of this, a separate coil which superimposes the other coil. The center called the black and red is your emotional. The outer covers your physicality. And when you put this in touch with, as we've shown, um, yeah, what did it change? When you put it under a position of, let's say, a disease or a point of pain, like a cancer, now you interact in every shape and form with a cancer. Because now the field which you send out is more or less One is the physical side, and then the other one is the emotional. Because you have to, you have to move the ones of those of you who are developing new pens, new medical applications. You have to go to the next step. You have no choice. And the next step is build structures, build systems, which handles both. In the Keshe Foundation Manufacturing Italy, in, this, in January, February, we introduced psychosomatic pens. In November, end of November, December, we will introduce, we market the standard pain pens because it's a physical pain where it is, could be damage or whatever. But to go in a deeper section, you have to introduce psychosomatic, and then in a dynamic shape, these units will do the same job. When we start measuring the, the strength of the plasma. As I said to somebody recently, the future for mankind is so bright that its light blinds the man to the whole knowledge. You could not see, it's unbelievable what's gonna change. And as we see, those who try to oppose it is the only way they can confirm their existence. We have to bypass them. We have to superimpose the knowledge over what I call ignorance. 
as I said before, when you see the new hand pan, which is produced by Cash Foundation in Italy, as I said yesterday in the meeting too, you want to go sick just to try it. It's so beautiful that you want to know how does it work? Can I get can I have a pain somewhere that I can test it? It just invites you to get sick. It's it's amazing. When you see it, you understand what I'm it's the ingenuity of the beautiful people we work with in Italy. It's amazing how uh, the progress is coming up. They don't look at the uh, uh, what it does, they look how it presents. It's like an Italian woman. It's so elegant that you just want to see it and see how it looks. It's beautiful. You see, we show it maybe tonight over here or Monday, Friday when I'm in Rome. I'll pick it up and I'll show it to you. This is part of the structure. This is where we will come to understand the totality of it. And the beauty of it is, we give all the samples to the governments. Let the governments test it first. To the ministers, to the people of the parliament. You have a pain, the pen is free. If you're going to vote against it, see if you use it. How can you vote against something which already helped you? Don't forget, most of the number of parliaments are very old people. They always have a lot of painful kids. Very strange, we see now, those who are close to us can tell you, very close to what the different section we work, that we are producing systems which in a coming time, people will understand part of their work. Only thing is, anybody ask you, how does it work? Be as simple as this, don't go any further. Just explain to them about a plasma, which is exactly like a sun. It radiates is light in a different way. It gives and it receives. And if they don't understand it, tell them, okay, it's very easy. It's a magnet. It has a North Pole and a South Pole. Make it so simple that it becomes understandable. The rest, they can see. You create gravity to pull the pain. You give energy to a magnetic pole to take what is short of. Voila. As simple as that. A child in the first year of the school understand. Any questions? Mr. Kesh, you kind of broke up when you were talking about the uh, winding of the health pin. Uh, I just wanted you to elaborate on that a little bit. Um. The health pens, what we call the pen, pain pens, which is very good. Why is call it pain? It takes your pain away, then giving pain to you. Uh, you have to educate yourself. There has to be a section, most probably on the Cash Foundation Forum, teaching people understanding of the pen, of the winding. You can wind to receive. If you want to receive, you put it that way, but you close it this way. If you make a coil, which is supposed to give, you close this way and you still leave it open now. There is no difference. This way, you allow interaction of receiving. It's the end which you close. If you want to create a process where the energy you know is too much,
you leave the ends open. I received an email from Benjamin. Benjamin was in the car in Africa, in the taxi, the taxi driver having a problem. He goes and he makes him a CO2 patch. He's got a big boil. And he sent me the testimonial. The guy waited in half an hour, loses all his pain, and the thing just blissed open and it's finished. The extent of this application is huge. If you have a condition of physical damage, it's very simple. You need to do this, which is most of us. Pardon? Yeah, it's a boil, we call it. It's infection with a boil underneath. Have you seen the testimonial? Yeah. So, you put the gravitational coil inside. Magnetical is to give. Gravitational, the red one, is to receive. So you decide, do you make a pen to release pain, or you make pens to hold and convert pain or energy? Then you decide if you are doing it this way. I've seen a lot of people who are making these pens and connecting the gravitational back into the center line. Please make sure you do a circumcision job on your system here. They cannot be connected. You cannot feed what is taken out back into itself. You have to allow the space here I uh, lost your battery. It's a plasma battery. No, they can't hear us. Can you hear us? Oh, good. So, what you got to understand why you do these coils, the way you do these coils, you have these gaps. The energy, what when comes in, what absorbed in here, it interacts between what is not needed, what is needed in the whole level, and it goes back down. And then in the cell, it finds its balance at the point of the damage. The gap you create between the layers is important. Then when you make your second coil, in a way, your second coil has to be Over. And then that is gravitational. The other one, it makes it magnetical. One, the inside is full of energy. Don't forget, because this is out. Now you have two superimposing two. So the center carries most of the energy. And then if you look at your black one here, which is the physical part of the inner ring, it becomes your emotional giver to your physicality because the physicality is weaker, it sits outside. You can reverse to change the process by using different thickness wires. You can use thinner or thicker wires inside or outside, depends what you want to use it for. But if you use the same diameter, then is a different game. You want to add to the emotion, to strengthen the emotional part, you close the tops. You want to take from physicality, you allow it open. So within the system, but never under no, I've seen so many people connecting, looping back 
and connecting the center coil to the gravitational magnetic coil. This is a death trap. The death trap means not killing, but is where the fields go nowhere. Stagnation. Never connect your coils on the nose. The center pin has to be more or less a free nerve system. This is your neuro, what I call the nerve system, which can transfer what it needs in both directions. In a coming time, what you can do if you become good at it and understand it in certain ways, you can do two parallel systems next to each other. <coughs> but don't twist them. One will carry the emotional and one carry the uh, physical. The emotional pin should be the height of your emotion and the physical pin should be the height of your physical coil. So you make coils of different heights inside each other. It's very much encapsulating the brain, the emotional part and the physical part. The coil making, if you understand it, as I explained it before, is adding of a plasma energy to each other. The number of coils will, does not differ that much, but how tightly you pack it will affect your performance. How loosely you pack the coils will affect your performance too. So in the coming time, we'll be artists in the coil making for the physical condition of the man. But more or less, these are the things you have to watch. Right hand turn, left hand turn does not make any difference. Clockwise, anti-clockwise does not make any difference because it's a field flow. And you give it the opportunity of both. The condition, pardon, just wait one second. The condition of the rotation and evolution in so many ways makes your gravitational magnetical and magnetical gravitational, but the end it works the same way. Yes. When you were uh, describing it, it sounded like a, a, a stacker, just with a pin on the inside basically. It's the same as a stacker. Yeah. There is no difference. And if you look at it, it's the same as, that's why uh, what, when Renan brought this uh, pen, pen pens or pain pens into public, now that he has the, what do you call it, cash foundation uh, research and development in Philippines, now he, Renan is the head of the research. Uh, this, at that time, with him, we were talking with a group in the background for development of the energy unit. And he brought that from there to here. But if you look in the center of your power pen units, you have the center wire, which goes through on its own. That's your center wire. And these are the coils. And you have two center wires and two coils if you look at it, your coils is like this, you know, each one, two coils, and one center wire which goes through the center gravitational. Yes, sir. All we've done, all has been done, is taking a section of your coil and bringing it here. If you look at your, this combination or the normal combination you do, and if you look at the, uh, we are missing one coil. Where is it? There we are. No, no, it's here. If you look, if I, this is your setup. If you look at it, if I cut this coil from here, the pin is in the center, and your two coils are outside. This was the translation of Renan from the energy development while we were developing the coils. 
and it's a beautiful interpretation. And then if you look at it, the second of it is the same thing. You put the coil through, now you have a system which now is both psychological and physical. And you still have your center pin in. The physical has its own center pin, the psychological has its own center pin. So you end up with two pins. And then you find out because they are center locked to each other, then if there is any shortage of physicality, it receives from the emotion part. And if there is any shortage of emotion part, it receives from the field of physicality. This is one of the ultimate pens physical condition you can make. And then if you make it with a stronger wire, which is a stronger field, you can go for muscle tissue repair, heart valve repair. All these things can be done, but this then has a limitation. Where with the power systems, you don't have limitation. With these power systems, especially in the coming time, we show you how to disinfect. You have an infection, you can easily disinfect. You have, you can even now, if you made a sealed unit pens, which is totally sealed, just drop it in the contaminated water. It creates a field, energizes, changes the combination if there's any infection. But then make sure you don't use the, the pen unless it's totally clean because then it interacts with this structure. This is what we had yesterday from Mexico or Brazil where they had a huge uh, problem with water contamination. So what we said, just burn some copper coil or copper wires, nanocoat them by burning, or if you can, nanocoat them in the plastic, and put a few of them together and use them like a stirring because this energy from when you put nano, nano wires next to each other, it creates a field. And this field changes microbes, viruses, infections are all energy based. If you put in a cup of water and you stir it enough that it changes, it feels interaction, you change the characteristics from in energy of whatever it is to a balanced condition. 80%, 90% of all the germs can be evolved. And then you find you can drink the water without the problem. But it has to be, but the point is because you're using copper, copper energy, in the atmospheric condition of the earth behaves as an energy balance, what you call disinfectant. That's why we use copper in all the hospitals. Most advanced operating rooms only use copper because even in those conditions, no germs can attach itself to it. If you go to some of the most advanced operating rooms in the Western nations in the past five years, 10 years, especially in past, few years, they literally, the washing room where the surgeon washed their hand and everything is totally copper, pure copper. Everything, the tap, the wash, everything, that there is no possibility of germs attaching. Copper has this property on the atmospheric earth condition to create a field. It's very much nanostructure. It is a nanostructure, but people don't understand it. It's field in a nanostructure, because it oxidizes very rapidly, it becomes self nano coated in a way, nothing can attach to it. So it behaves like a disinfectant. This is a big debate. This is a big debate on this. Yesterday I was with the manufacturers of Teflons. But in a space Teflon, not Teflon as a cooking pan Teflon. And as you know, uh, in the coming time, in the next four or five years, 
all the Teflon processes, they don't tell you. That's why you see new products of Teflon, they're trying to come. Teflon uses fluoride. And fluoride is highly dangerous for health. Very soon, in the next three, four years, the United Nations will ban use of Teflon. The present Teflons, the process they use, they use uh, fluoride in the process. And if it's trapped or used in that process, can be harmful. But they don't let it come public because it's a huge market. That's why if you go into the shops nowadays, you see Teflons are changing. It's not the Teflon we were used to a few years ago. There are new versions of it coming out. They're trying to make Teflons without fluoride. And our technology fits into that program very well. So that was one of the reasons I was away yesterday with the group of manufacturers of Teflon, which they see the Cash Foundation in development as a replacement for Teflon. Because not only this effect, it's got self-growing effects, but in a present, especially the space energy production of the aircrafts is used heavily. So it's part of the structure. With this, you don't have it because the gravitational magnetic field of the copper itself, plus now that it's nano-coated, it becomes very, very strong. It literally, if you look at it, it sits somewhere in this way. When you use it like a magic wand, all it does, it because already in the nano condition, it transfers its energy, and the other entities just receive it. And in receiving it, they change the character from the energy spectrum point of view. There is a huge, we are negotiating, we're talking to numerous organizations, different ways of application of the new product of the nanotechnology and use of a plasma. Even we're talking to a group, even with the present jet engines, jet liners, what do you call the chem, uh, what do you call the trails? The use of the plasma in as part of the engine fuel now is an alternative. Reduction in the fuel cost is an alternative. People who are in that line, they're looking into it very deeply because it produces the same system. It's the engine which demands it, and then you can change total fuel consumption altogether. Very much what you see now in your automobile cars, the reduction in production, is the same process. The, the world leaders in industry have realized what is going to hit them. And as I said before last week, we are attracting leading industrialists into Cash Foundation. And I said to all the Cash Foundation manufacturers, bring, not because you become the manufacturing or you're setting up a manufacturing in a certain country, I have to be the head. This is the biggest mistakes you will make. You bring the head of industrial organizations into your team. You bring them in to head it for you. You're a bunch of people who understand the technology, bring people who understand how, and because of their credibility in the society, can push the technology to head the companies which you own. Just because you own it, you don't have to sit on the head of it. Bring industrialists into the rank of your shareholders and give them the highest positions that they can easily bring the technology into public because if they sit at the board as a head of X, let's say, uh, Minister of Oil, Minister of Energy, head of energy organizations, power producing, attract those to become your directors because there is enough profit to pay from your production, but very rapidly because the key figures become the head of your organizations, your factories, your companies, it becomes very easy for public to accept because people look who's on the top, what it runs. So this is one of the tricks of the game if you're introducing such a new technology so revolutionary in your countries. We are looking at about 35 
manufacturing companies within the next two months around the Keshe Foundation. Carrying the Keshe Foundation logo, carrying the Keshe Foundation all support team. So as I said to another one, I speak to each one of them, bring one of the head of industries in. If you pay 100,000, 200,000 a year salary, this brings you millions in no time because the government, look who's sitting at the head. A little farmer who's just set up a factory, but it's an organization which is headed by industrialists. You can change the course and where I sit as major shareholder or director, this is what they push. You look for industrialists who understand the change and they come in to bring the change and with them, they bring the whole nation. You bring ex-ministers in health. You employ ex-whatever uh, at the highest ranks to sit as a board of directors. Because the technology has to be understood to be safe and to be applicable at the highest level. And these people have all the chance in governments and the society to bring it in quickly. You don't want an actress to become the head of your system, but you need somebody who has served as a correct. This is part of being managing an organization. This is how I manage all my works. I always hide in the back and I put the top people on the top. They are the figurehead. They don't care who runs the company, who owns the shares, who the name. They stand the fire and they stand the higher, but you sit there. You will see. The Cash Foundation Italy is headed by one of the most famous industrialists in this country. I don't need to interfere because whatever comes, it goes back to the Italian nation and the work of the Italy. But with them comes a lot of easiness of the technology to be introduced publicly. In the next 12 months, we most probably operate in more than 100 countries, and they all have to have the same ethos to understand it. And then you have to explain everything to everyone, exactly how it's done. Any question? How many of you are expert to do this? Maybe one or two, if. This should be any tools you make, it should be applicable to 99% of the public. This way, in this structure, there is a trick to it. What you can do if the psychological part is more stronger, which is like Alzheimer's, like MS. Because now when you get to this point, it means psychologically you have overcome the physicality and you're dictating the term. It's very easy. All you need to do, play the game of the body. When you play the same game, you always win because you have one upper hand. At the end of the pen, just add CO2. Very easy. And especially is emotionally linked, like incompetence, physical interaction, sexual disabilities, very easy. Add a little friend, and you always made it yourself anyway. You call it zinc. When you made your boxes, if you remember, when you put a copper, nano-coated and zinc, I chose the zinc deliberately because it helps in the other part. All the materials you made, you can't get all of it 100% right. You made the gas of CO2, 
And in the same process, you made, unfortunately or fortunately, some zinc oxide too. And now you take this and you add it here. I had a chat with Benjamin and Alex while we were going home one night from here together. And Alex says to us, you know, I have a problem. I said, what's the problem? He says, I make system, it works for me, and I give it to my friends, it doesn't work for them. I said, it's very easy. All you need, you have to understand the condition of expectation. And most of what we call psychosomatic, especially sexually psychosomatic, has to do with the lack of zinc. But now because you produce zinc oxide in a ganser state, you reach that. And then with it is connected the emotion, which is CO2. So all you need to do, just you can make, I call it, but in reality, but you have to do your job to understand what I'm talking about. You can make Viagra in a pen. All you need to do, put your pen in the water and drink the water. But you got to know which end of the pen you put in the water. Ah, sorry, Giovanni. Ah. But I just say, that's what it is. Look, look, go into the structure of Viagra, heavily loaded on the zinc. Why people eat fish, oysters, heavily loaded in zinc. That's why I become sexually active because zinc is part of the emotional for reproduction of the humanity. So what you do here, you support it and you all have been making it. You all have been handling Viagra without you knowing it. Marco goes, yes, I found a new solution. <laughs> now, I studied in Slovenia. You can't patent this in public. Can you imagine you go into the hot chemist and say, oh, this one I need. Don't let anybody say, can I pay for this, please? This is the reality how beautiful this technology will help man. But you should not reach the point where your ring starts. It has to be on the tip. Because then you take and receive and give what you need. Yes. Mr. Kesh, um, uh, first let me say to the people on live stream, sorry I didn't uh, get that recorded, the question which was Mariel asked with the psychosomatic pen, will it be beneficial to recognize the emotion responsible for the symptoms the pen is being applied for? That's what Mr. Kesh answered. Now Mariel also asks, what information indicates if energy needs dissipating or increasing in order to alleviate symptoms? so as to determine to leave the ends of the pen open or looped back on itself. This is expertise. You got to understand it. This needs understanding, full understanding of where the problem is starting. If you're applying such a thing, you have to understand what was the origin of the disease. Why? Do we, in, uh, let's say, MS, create a condition that we take a lot of energy from ourselves, or do we flood it with energy that the physicality gives up? Do we actually blow a fuse up? Or do we send the information to disable information transfer in the muscle tissue? Because if you work with these systems with conditions like MS, you are very effective. These systems are extremely effective for MS. MS is a muscle tissue disability disorder connected with emotion. 
and neural system in the muscle tissue only use copper. Only use copper. In a way, if you extend the physical disability understanding of the medicine, the health application, and we extend the knowledge, this got, you got to test to understand. This is the bone of the man, and this is the muscle of the man, his foot, this bill because of MS. If you can make the right coil around the whole, both gravitational magnetic field, and then add your emotion and physical field on top of it, boys, the man will run, let alone being disabled. But you have to understand what the problem is. As you, have you ever seen the, what do you call it? The Lion King, the guy is holding the end of the crocodile and says, let it go. He says, there are teeth on the other end. It means if I let it go, I get bitten. You got to understand what sits on the other end of this in the emotional part of the brain. Because you have to bring in balance both physicality. You see people just walk. I can show you a solution to every disease. You try it tonight, tomorrow, so the man walks. But you have to reach the emotion. Why? Why is so bad that emotion has decided to give up on physicality? And it's just not me. Or can you create the right combination of physical and emotion that it will change like the way you're nano coating your wires feedback into the emotional part to give it enough energy to change his mind from device. It's very easy. But if you cannot change the reason in the emotion, they walk and two days later they don't walk because you have a sort of the problem in the top. The boss is still is not happy. Is there a solution for it to create only a double coil psychosomatic for the brain of the man? We've seen Carl Lee making that hat with the things flowing in it. The hat is the other answer the solution. Because all it does, it feeds itself and it comes back and it feeds itself again. There is no place for the emotion to escape. You create another patch on top of what it is now. You have in your structure, as I explained here, you have to always allow, if need be, what we call a pressure valve to let go. Is there possibility? Is there a way? I've done this before, but you can try it. Your wires are too thin. If this is your wire, end of it, can you split it and curl half of it in and leave the other one like this open? You cut your wire into half. It's not easy, but especially with the thin wires. If this is your wire, at the end, you cut it into halves, and this half you leave open, and this half you bend it back on itself. You allow the possibility of both. If you look, most of the fruits do this. Most of the plants follow this split. They feed themselves and they go to the next, but 
the leaf is always turned back in while the other one goes out. Look at most of the tropic trees, most of the cactuses, that's why they're so strong. One feeds back and one goes up. That become a feeder to the root. The cactuses, they feed themselves by the shape of the leaves, the energy feed back in. That's why they, when you, when you buy what you call aloe vera, and that kind of thing, the original sense was they go that way. So if you can produce wires which is split, you can this. Learn something very interesting. Have you seen a lot of women have a split hair? Have you ever seen it? A split end. Yeah, the end is splits. They become too hot. Look at the shape of the split. Ask the psychological state. The brain energy is so huge in so many ways of identification that affects the next physical thing to it, which is the hair. Because it comes from it. What I call it's a very interesting condition. They continuously cut the end, but they don't sort the problem inside. Always look at every aspect. As I said to you, your fingers, if you look, the small finger and your thumb. These two are to do with your physicality. These two with your emotion. And then you have the same structure in the toe of the man. These two are your physicality. These two to do with your emotion. If you split this one, which most of the women do in walking, it's a toe. Why does it go back and damage the whole of your spinal cord with the back problem and everything? Because these two are connected with your physical part. Indication of interaction with the environment. You go see most of the women suffer from a back pain and you ask them, where does it hurt? Just here, now it's coming to my neck. I bet you just ask them a single question. Do you remember ever getting your little toe entangled in a door or a frame or a chair? or Oh, yes, it did. Ask them the next question. Did you have a few weeks before pain in your ankle? Yes, I did. So it goes up, trying to readjust. Then it goes to the back, and then it goes to the neck, and the suffer. All you need to do, put this toe in right, and it's done. But because these two, when they're dislocated, created a pain suffering for emotion, you have to put these two right too. When you're adjusting this, life is so simple. Human body is just the storybook, which is like a Disney. It's very easy. Disney wrote all his, did all his cartoons without pain. You never see anybody getting killed. The guy drops in 20 pieces, come together, and he runs. Life is exactly like this. Pardon? This is a connection between the trust between. The, the, your toe has a physicality of giving. If your toe is a straight like this, it's different than the toe, which is like this. It's a strange, when I walk on the beach, when I walk summertime, I can tell about the behavior of all the women. You just look and you say, oh, hmm. It's very bad to be so knowledgeable as me. Uh, Mr. Kersh, how are we doing on time there? We have um, a possible um, testimonial uh, document that we could have a look at, and there's okay. a couple okay. of other questions. 
I was just going to ask uh, real quick, as you brought that up about the toes. Um, I have somebody uh, that I know that has had his toe amputated a long time ago. Does that uh, still work if it's been amputated a long time ago? His body was amputated. Okay. People who don't have any toes at all, everything has been amputated. But in the, if it's done in a way, uh, it depends how it's done at a point. If the still the pain goes up the back or not. But in respect to physical life, you ask a lot of women who have a back pain, it takes you a week and you forget about it, it won't exist. I teach a lot of chiropractic and physiotherapists about this because you can put it right, you save a lot of operation in the field. Okay, can we have the testimonial and we call it a day? Okay, sure. Um... Let me get it lined up here on your screen. Okay, we are uh, waiting. Okay, this is um, regarding uh, a plasma belt testimony and questions for the health workshop by Rebecca Lynn and uh, it's been submitted by uh, a viewer called uh, or one of our participants here in the workshop called E equals MC squared um, so the experiment I can read just what it is here and you can sort of read through with me perhaps the experiment is with the in this part of the there's actually three parts of this testimony in this first part, the plasma waist belt, um, they talk about using a two meter long uh, nano coated copper wire as a waist belt, wrapped it around my waist like an infinity loop or a double circle. Then I twisted the ends back to themselves. I wanted to see what it would do for me. The results are amazing and surprising. Uh, immediately I felt a strong but nice sensation of some sort of energy wave from my waist all the way down to my toes and back and another wave going up my chest to my head and back. It's a nice and energizing feeling. I would say it's a little warm but soothing. Then I felt that my body's temperature came back to normal when I noticed that the stuffy nose I had, even though it was hot, went away miraculously and I didn't need to cover myself under multiple blankets at night as I had to do for the past two years. Result 1. The rise of body temperature. Result 2. Stuffy nose gone. The same night as I lay on my bed I felt a sudden yet mild pain on my left knee. So I pulled out a bamboo stick and proceeded to hit the sore areas on said knee. This type of hitting is a treatment in Chinese medicine to rid the body of toxins in the muscles. Not too soon afterwards, the sensation went to my left thigh and calf. I ended up treating my whole left leg that night. It felt like all these toxins were clogged up in my left leg and they couldn't get taken care of before, but somehow they were now forced out to the surface and got treated very easily without much pain or effort. Perhaps I should explain a bit about this popular hitting method in Taiwan. This method is taught by Qigong masters to get rid of deeply buried toxins on the muscles. It has been very effective in getting rid of muscular pains and is good for curing many diseases. Many people do a whole body treatment. The hitting hurts a lot if there are toxins, but its effectiveness seems to be taking the place of other healing methods and uh, so on. So this plasma belt has um, pushed out some of the very deep toxins from my left leg that I hadn't known about. The amount of toxins which came out seemed to be more than what a Qigong master could have dug out with his key. I am quite shocked. Monday night, three days after I started wearing the belt, my right knee started asking for it too. Once again, I couldn't, I couldn't believe the amount of toxins that came out. So result three, deeply buried toxins in legs surfaced for treatment. Result four, what I take was a plasma wave kept on cleaning my body's toxins. 
Next, I noticed, started noticing that I'm eating less. I, didn't, I don't seem to feel hunger most of the time. Now I only eat what I truly enjoy since I don't need to uh, eat to feel uh, satiated. Result 5. The feeling of hunger has diminished. I notice that my emotions are more calm and more positive. I constantly feel peaceful and happy. I never thought that blissfulness for such a pro pro prolonged period of time was possible before. I don't get that low feeling when I'm off the high from caffeine. I can only describe this as a great raise of the energy of my body and emotions, perhaps even of my soul. So result six is a constant, persistent, positive, peaceful, happy mood condition. <laughs> After five days of wearing the belt all the time, I felt that my stomach has flattened and the contours of my waistline seem to be returning. Possible result, possible slimming of the waist. I also feel that the belt has kept me energetic all throughout the day. Result 7. Healthy energy level throughout the day. With the belt on, I had no more soreness in the waist area after sitting for a whole day in front of the computer listening to the KFSSI's teachings. <laughs> Result 8. Alleviation of soreness. So that was the first experiment with this um, belt, with this uh, simple nano-coated copper wire as a waist belt. Now, maybe you can make a comment on that, Mr. Kesh, and then maybe we could uh, pass on to the next part of the, her experiments here. Is there anything to say about that, or shall we just carry on? I'm not hearing you there, so... Oh, I see. Okay. I'm going to suggest you wrap a nano-coated wire around that battery. <laughs> keep it charged. Yeah, maybe keep it next to the, uh, the plasma... Uh, Magrav power unit there. Maybe keep it on top of it. It might actually charge the Can battery. Can you hear me now? Yes, there we go. We are, strange enough, we are running a test parallel to this. we we'll give you the results in the next few days. What I want to ask you, maybe you can tell us. Maybe you haven't noticed it. When you go to the big toilet, does the color change? Don't forget, in part of the Chinese and other medicine, you see the interaction of your body reaction with what you reject, because then it gives you indication. This thing, uh, we're working, I'll explain to you how, because it's been reported before. I think it's people in Holland or Belgium, I can't remember if Caroline was here to tell you, there the are ladies who's trying to lose weight at night, they wake up with the hunger in their stomach. All they do, they put the pen pen in their stomach, on their stomach for a few seconds, the hunger goes and they go back to sleep. This has been reported as a testimonial somewhere else I've read. So the interaction of the physical, yes, but you got to understand something with a big warning label on it. First of all, don't use nano-coated material on your skin directly. Secondly, this thing has a time lapse. You can't wear it for hours. It can create other problems. So there is a certain time, certain like half an hour, 20 minutes, that kind of thing, not for a whole day. You'll find out it can have other conditions of creating a new condition. So if you use any kind of plasma technology, any kind of nanotechnology, the golden rule is moderation. Just because it works, I'm going to wear it whole day, whole night, doesn't work. It's not a sports gear. Moderation no. <coughs> starts with the small times, half an hour, 20 minutes, and see how it is. And secondly, make sure 
It never touches your skin. That gets us in. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Let me explain something. When you wear these things, especially in hot countries, you sweat, you have a salt. The salt condition interacts, makes nano gans layers on your skin. That's where it comes. It's not a nano material. It's the gans you produce which transfers energy. That's where it interacts directly with your body. Your body carries salt. What you do, you're putting the gans material into the salt water. Now the salt of your own skin allows nano micro gans materials which the energy is released to the skin. It doesn't work in the way you see it. It has a structure which it does. So even if you produce it with a nano connection, you still transfer part of that energy of the salt. It's like a leaf, the way you created the CO2. It's the energy you get from a free plasma of the guns. Okay, carry on. Okay, um, yes, uh, we, we could go on to a more of a comment on the next part here because this gets even a, a little more dicey, but it's uh, interesting. It's about <laughs> dicey. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a straight view, Rick, to allow this to come on, but let's see. Well, it's, uh, the document just came to me during the workshop from this person, and they sort of wanted to show it during the health workshop, and it was a nicely presented document, and there's no copyright issues. <laughs> And I thought, well, why not? Because I wanted to get your comment on this. And it's appropriate because you were just talking about these pins, the health pins. And what this is, this experiment number two, is with the plasma pins and a headband. So after my wondrous experience with the plasma waist belt for two days, I started to make some mini health pins and place them on my forehead and nose for my chronic sinus condition. I went to bed that night with the plasma waist belt on my waist and many nano-coated plasma pins taped to my forehead and nose. The following day, my severe sinus pain disappeared miraculously. My nostrils weren't stuffed up. The weird stuffiness in my nose, even on hot days, was gone. I couldn't believe this. Result 1. Severe chronic sinus condition <laughs> cured overnight. I worried that my sinus condition may not have been completely cured, so I sewed the pins onto a cloth headband and wore it at night to continue the treatment of my sinus condition. When I felt a pain here or there, I would use my nano-coated magic wand, a giant pain relief pen, on it, and usually the pain would be gone in an instant. Even though the pains would recur occasionally, I would simply repeat the procedure. But most importantly, I felt a strong wave of energy flowing as if um, communicating between my headband and my waist belt. It seemed as though the headband helped with the washing out of toxins from my body. Result 2. Stronger sensation of energy waves between the headband and the waist belt. After I developed a greater trust in the plasma pins, I proceeded to tape them on my belly button, stomach, and in the middle of my chest to help with my bronchial and heart conditions, so I thought. And once again, I felt the communication of energies between the waist belt, the headband, and all the pins on my body. Result 3. Can the plasma pins on acupuncture points strengthen the health? Furthermore, I went on to tape plasma pins to, the, to my cheeks for a few hours before sleep, and I was surprised to discover that my face seemed to have become more firm the next day. That's more than any beauty treatment can account for. I was astonished at all of these findings. Result 4, can plasma pins help tighten facial skin? So that was experiment 2. Uh, and it goes on to experiment three and the last one, which is GANs and a hot water bottle under the pillow. Anything you'd like to say about that, Mr. Kesh? The, uh... <coughs> there are some reports from Chinese uh, operation at uh, 
some of the things which is stated here we already know. Uh, the, the guns, pens, or pain pads used for migraine found to be very effective in some cases. And sinuses, that we know that. The retention of making you young has already been reported. It's not something new, so it complies and it's within the framework of the what <coughs> we have seen the rejuvenation. You got to understand how it changes. You give energy and you take energy and you find a balance. Uh, what I call, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, the effect is exactly as we explained with the wires. It receives and it gives and it takes balance. And in that balance to be, uh, you got to understand the structure of why you get your face crinkled. Because there's not enough moisture. When you put a wet cloth, or you take a leather, which is the copy of it's a natural product, it's like a human being in a structure, and you wet it, you see soft. You let it in dry and you see how it crinkles. Now that you can give the energy back into the system and it holds water, that's why it becomes open. We've seen this, I've seen this uh, rejuvenation of the skin in a few reports, especially one of the governmental reports in the past two or three months. So there would be something happening with the lymph, I, I'm supposing, with the, uh, the nostrils and sinus opening up. Is that, would that be true in, in this case? In a way of you relaxing the muscles where there is a tension, you've got to understand what sinus problem is. Sinus is a reaction to the structure of the environment, and then the action stays. You change it, it's like you add energy to it. Okay. You've seen this with uh, even the units which Carly sent from China. The, the tapes, you can put different tapes on, it gets the same effect. <coughs> but again, use moderation. This is, this is important. Okay, can we have the pillow one and then we call it a day? Okay. Okay, we read here, uh, experiment three, GANS and a hot water bottle under the pillow. Before I started the headband, pins and waist belt exper uh, treatments, I experimented with GANS. Usually at night I massage and hit my sinus cavities and the surrounding areas on my face to alleviate the pains I was feeling. This helped with about 50% of the discomfort. I then tried placing plastic bottles with some CO2 GANs over my eyes and sinus cavities and I felt a deeper and complete relief of the pain instantly. But the next day the discomfort would return partially. I later discovered that the headband with pins works better than the GANs. Result 1. CO2 GANS relieves pain. I also placed a hot water bottle filled with CO2 GANS on my stomach when I slept. I had a cold that wouldn't go away for a week. Then I heard Mr. Cash say that GANS is a very cold substance. So I relocated the hot water bottle to under my pillow. I felt that this kept my spirits higher thereafter. My cold left soon after. Result 2. Hot water bottle with CO2 GANS keeps emotions and energy high. So now I have a few questions for Mr. Cash. One, is there anything that I should be careful of as I continue my experiments? Two, is there an explanation for all the results that I am observing? Are they genuine or is it just my imagination? And three, my hearing seems to be muffled as if I were on an airplane. I use the plasma pins in my ears. I hear an airflow when I place the pins in the ear and a few hours later my hearing improves but the condition comes back from time to time. Is there a better way to treat this hearing problem? Note none of the above mentioned items penetrate or touch the skin. And for your information I've been a Dharma cultivator my whole life so I am a lot more sensitive to energies than most people are. Your enlightenment on these experiments will be greatly appreciated. And thank you for being here on the earth now. And thank you for all the teachings and things you do for us. We love you and are, great, are, and are deeply grateful to you.
We shall follow you into space. Thank you so very, very much. Love. Okay, well, you've partially answered those questions already, Mr. Cash, as far as being careful to not push things too far and so on. <coughs> no, the thing is we have to be, to understand we are all guinea pigs, or we allow ourselves not to be guinea pigs, but to be what I call adventurous to understand the limit. Most of the things with the emotion we know. Uh, the CO2, especially gas of CO2, has a direct effect on emotion. It's very effective, extremely effective. The problem is we need to bring in uh, uh, what we call the total understanding. In, a, in the coming days, now that we put a structure around the Cash Foundation, the health center, which opens up on the fifth floor in January, will become responsible for collecting data. So uh, we are bringing a team after January when we open the, what we call the research center on the fifth floor to, uh, to sit to these, um, what do you call it? We're gonna categorize all the information. So we become the central bank of information for the use of GANs. The application of nanomaterials for different aspects and better, more or less, uh, in the coming time, we'll make the uh, encyclopedia of what we call the Gantz material to be for the space, health, agriculture, and the rest of it. This is part of the, what is to be set up in the coming time. Uh, the point is, whatever you do, keep in mind, you <coughs> deal with the dynamic condition. Remember when uh, Rebecca speaks about uh, different positioning of different materials, if you're here, she keeps on saying she's still wearing the belt that she made. If you go back, the history of wearing belt is in the human race, especially in Jewish belief. Men always wear the belt, twisted belt. Egyptians do. Priests do. They always wear the rope. This came from thousands of years ago, but man lost it because those days these belts were not made of. Uh, what do you call it? Synthetic material. They were made from animal parts. So they transferred the energy of the animal, but now we become all just the physicality. Wearing these kind of belts, especially when you use a nano coated, you've got to understand you transfer energy and that energy which is bringing the change. The energy it means both gravitational and magnetical. You cannot harm, but you can over by by you bringing the source of energy to another place in your body, you disbalance the whole operation of your body. In a way, can we go to the screen? Um, for example, like Mariel mentions that I've read that the pain pen is not to be used on the head. And could you explain about that? So that's a similar thing. Yeah, the pain pads, you can use the, what do you call it? Uh, let's, let's go through something. This is for us, for you. It's okay, I've got it. Uh, if this is your structure, oh, I, I lived in England too long. Women are always pear shaped. So, uh, if this is your structure, and you put a belt which is very thin here, and you understand that this belt is transferring energy. You start only receiving energy at a certain level. There is a reason for the twists and turns in your intestines. And if this part only gets used to absorbing energy, then it can cause problem in the other ones. Using these kind of things, you have to understand what you do. 
that's why I say when you use the belt, the, the pain pads, you have to move it. You can't keep it forever. You change the structure. So uh, the, the, the reason for it is you create energy band, which only gets absorbed in that bracket. Half an hour now is okay. But if you're very day and night, then you create a condition of what I call laziness of your intestine. Got to be careful what you're doing because you don't do any damage, but this section gets used to, to absorb all the energy into the lymph because you're not feeding the, and you're not taking energy into the intestine, you're feeding the lymph and the lymph is floating. And this part, you find a change of condition in your intestine. And that's what is, you can't do it more than certain out. When you use a pen in a given point and it comes back, it means you have a find a source of the problem. If you do, if you use a pen two or three times and you see the, the pain is still there, go and look for the cause of it. It means is something wrong you have to look into. It's not something that it was happened to be there and you're just trying to sort out. We are looking at the moment, we'll, we'll release the information in the parasites in the stomach, where we are trying to see if using the, the mats, which the pads, the pain pads, allows the change of the condition in the stomach that the parasite cannot exist anymore. You don't kill the parasite. With the pain pads, you change the environment for it. Parasites, especially in the household with the animals, is one of the biggest problems. Parasites with the animals is a big problem. Now we're testing. We will let you know very soon about it because it's something we're checking very well. So in a way, if you allow, you change the environment, the acidity changes in your stomach in the way you call it, that's not good for me. I can't live in this environment. I'll move somewhere else. This is a condition of even emotional release from pain that we put, uh, we see, as I always say, you get fat on the upper part of the body if it's a conflict with the father. If you can wear the pants where you can sort out the emotional part, we make an emotional part, would it allow you to see the light and changes you to lose weight or the body does not need to hold anymore that you change your parameters. Understand what you're doing in a plasmatic condition that the story becomes very easy to understand. But uh, these are, we will look, we we'll see like you. If you want me to put testimonial up from the experiments of what I've done with the plasma, I think we need the server on this one. But that's mine. You're bringing yours. And like last time, we showed you the top. And what they said to me, somebody said to me, so stupid, arrogant guy, he says, oh, this was a montage. I said, okay, this is what you want to do because you have no job in this company. That's why you have to call it a montage. Whatever you do is yours and it's how you understand it and how you can apply it. If it's not done the right way, most probably it will only work for your condition. We call it the day. Thank you very much for your time. And we are back here on the private teachings tomorrow. And Thursday is all to do with the people who made their systems. They want to show their systems and what we are testing here in our system. And we'll see where we go. Thank you very much indeed for today. Thank you, Giovanni, for teaching us Italian. Even though I didn't get Italian, I was tasked with something else. Very good, Mr. Cash. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cash. See you tomorrow. Great teaching today, Mr. Cash. Great teaching. Bye -bye. He's becoming the master of the whiteboard. Thank you, Mr. Cash. We love you, Mr. Cash.
I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> you are. There I is think. a problem here. We haven't found out how to use this part yet. This is the enigma. We've got to find out how to do this one. Oh, look, it has a, uh, at the very bottom, it's a paint roller. What does it do with the paint roller? So that's a, uh, like a uh, spray Whoa. can. Rain, rain at the very bottom one's a paint roller. Oh, fantastic. Ooh. That's Whoa. for the uh, younger, that's for the younger graffiti artists that will be part of the Cash Foundation coming in soon. I'm still I think your hands on the other side. Ah, <laughs> ah, uh oh! This is a heaven gift for plasma. Look at uh, it. Yeah, look at that! Wow. Yes. Looks kind of three D. <laughs> yeah. Find this screen. It was a very good idea. Yeah, it's great. I think we need to get some uh, T-shirts printed off from the images for sure. Okay, if, if I go this one here, what is Pardon? Mr. Cash, Mr. Cash, can yeah. you hear me? Can I? Yes, I'm going to ask. Oh, it means I love you. There we are. Is this is what you wanted. <laughs> Thank you. You got enough heart, you can take it. To do what other kind of patterns does it have there? Yeah. Look at this. this way. We do it this way. We do it this way. We have matches we like it for Uh, oh, now this gets us a different one. Oh, look. Now plasma has a meaning. Plasma has a totally different meaning. Look. Different range. Oh, we're still live. We better switch. <laughs> okay, Rick, I think it's good to end the live stream. Hey, we didn't think you were there. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Cash, can I ask you a question? No, uh, privately after, I need an help for a patient. So can I, after I have a conversation with you? Okay. okay, thank you. That's the end of the 46th health teaching workshop of the Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute for November 17, 2015. Oops.